everyone. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Talking with Ken. Backdrop I'm refresh. Your host. That's what I was saying. Ken. <laughs> Hello. Is, is this the. Uh, this is how I'm going to talk. NPR. NPR. From now on. How is everyone doing today? Sylvia, Stacy, Kim, and I saw the first one there. So Sylvia, Stacy, Kim. Julie, Sylvia, Mila. Stacy, Kim. Hey, Betsy. Chatting and Chalking with Linda Bay. That's a little fun name. Chatting and Chalking. All right. Hi, Tina, everyone. Diana, hello. Becky, hello. Janet. Welcome. Kathy, Karen. Um, to another fun adventure with Ken and Sean. Kathy, so, um, Kathy McDonald, I need to double check to make sure your club could remember, don't I? Anyways, um, how is everyone doing? Doctor. So, let me tell you, when I say today has not been my day, it has not been my day. You want to know why? While you guys are all joining, let me tell you why. <laughs> so, a couple weeks ago, I went camping. Mm -hmm. with Teresa and her family mm -hmm. and they had hammocks and they were fun and I loved them and I was like oh I didn't think I could do a hammock because I'm fat right so anyways didn't fall so Jazzy brought over a hammock this week because Moose her son would swing in it and she's like Kenny you can go swing in it and I said I'm too fat it will break to which Jasmine and Sean said no mm -hmm. Literally, I think the words they said is fat people can sit in hammocks and it'd be fine. So we don't have trees in our backyard big enough to support a hang, like a, a um, hammock. So Jazzy slung it on our deck beams because it's a deck and it has a hot tub up there. So you would think it would be good, right? So, well. Betsy, I'm so glad I'm not for Matt. <laughs> I was worried about that. I am going to be fat because guess whose cookies are all gone? <laughs> they were They're so gone. good. They were, they were so, so good. good. But anyways, mm. so I decided to go swing in the hammock. Mm -hmm. Everything was fine. Mm -hmm. Then today, I decided, oh, I'm going to go swing in the hammock. So I'm swinging, having fun. I go to push myself off the hammock. It breaks. Not only does it break, the beam comes. The hammock never broke spiraling towards me and I'm pretty sure I have to amputate my leg now. You want to see the damage? Hold up. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Brace yourself. It's bad. Oh, I thought you'd go to this camera. Oh, I can do that. I can do one. Okay. You one ready? Time. Hold on. Okay. Look. Okay. I have a divot in here. A div it. Like, you can put all of New Zealand in there. Okay? So, number one, don't tell me. Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so don't tell me that I am not Chunky Monkey because I broke it. Number two. He didn't break it. Um, I'm pretty sure my leg has to be amputated. Uh-oh, it's bleeding again. Okay. Number three, after that happened, I decided, oh, cool, look at all of this fun stuff in a box. So I open a box that's a new Dyson vacuum because I should be excited. What has happened? Not one, not two, but three paper cuts from a bo cardboard box. So <laughs> I'm going to look like a pirate because I'm not going to have a leg and I'm going to have a hook for a hand. Can we hear Sean's side of the story? <laughs> and then people are getting their chalk tour orders and half the stuff is back ordered. Yeah. So I've been putting out fires. But good news is we're fixing it. We're moving on. We're being happy. We're being positive. Mm -hmm. And other good news, someone else, Channa Riley, sent me crumble cookies. So I had that. Because you know what? If I'm breaking hammocks, I'm going to have to live in the basement. Because I'm not even sure... Our freaking Joyce's will support me on the upper floors. So, did you put something on it? Yes. I, uh, cleaned, Sadness. I cleaned out his wound uh, with hydrogen peroxide. 
-hmm. it hurt. And then used uh, iodine. And, and I just then... would like to say that Sierra was there the entire time trying to help me through my pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. But then she drank some of the hydroperoxide and then I was like, she's going to puke that yeah. up. And okay. then I put um, polysporin, polysporin on that and then put a clean thingy on it and it's good to go. Yeah. So we had all intentions of being here early, but such is life. Okay. So that is my story for the hour. I just taped it up using this. Okay. So it's going to be a fun live. <laughs> going to hobble around. Everybody so, says you're not fat, and I keep telling that. Yeah. From the side, I look like I have a boob. Oh, stop. Side boob. Okay. See, this is the type of live you guys get tonight. Aren't you excited? All right, so we are finishing our background wall. Background wall. So for those who have been with us all week, um, this side over is El Halloweeno, mm -hmm. and this side over is Fall. Or Thanksgiving, as I like to say, but Sean thinks they're the same thing. All right. So, um, today we are finishing our last two pieces over here, which is going to be fun. Um, I have a lot of videos uploaded for the next three weeks coming at you. Um, I spent all day editing. I have one more video to edit, which we'll be doing tonight. <laughs> what? Kate, our wonderful mail ah! gal, she mailing lady, she says, I wish I had boobs. I'll give you some of mine, Kate. <laughs> Kate, if you're picking up mail tomorrow, be prepared. I'm sorry. There's a bunch yeah, of sorry. bracelets going out. Yes. Out. But they're cute. They have pineapples on them. And you have a nice one to give her? <laughs> I don't know what else is on there. It's pineapples and something else. Lemons. Pineapple, lemon, limes type mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. All right. Um, also, in other news, I think we're going to try to find a way to tell Jazzy that Hades has no longer is with us. And she's going to stay here. He. He's going to stay here because he's basically Han reincarnated. Maybe. Like, seriously. He is. He acts like Han. He barks like Han. He loves like Han. <sighs> I miss Han. Yep. So, anyways. um, I don't want to start crying, so I'm not going to talk about that. But, anyways. What are you doing? Giving Kate the thumbs up. Thanks. Why are your hands so dirty? That's from cleaning our glow forges. Oh, we're not talking about that. That's another reason we're not talking about stuff. Because that. Oof. All right. So, let's get started. Um... So today we're going to finish last boards. For those of you who are joining, this is seriously not how it always is. I'm usually way more put together than this, but it's been a rough day. Um, but on the good news, we are going to have fun today. So if you are new to Chalk Couture, I would love to tell you what we're all about. Also, if you're not a designer, if you would share this live, we would be eternally grateful. Thank you. For those that don't know Chalk Couture, we are a high-end DIY company that gives people the ability to do beautiful home decor pieces in sex seconds, not in sex. We're not selling that, but we would make a killing, I bet. <laughs> but anyways, um, and uh, it's going to be a rough life, you guys. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> so uh, you can experience Chalk Tour three different ways. Huh? You can shop from our website and support us, which if you do, thank you and we love you. Number two, you can join as a Club Couture member. We love our Club Couture members, even those that are currently struggling because I get it. Right now, a lot of pieces are coming and things are on back order, but that's because we are killing it and people love our products. Mm -hmm. Um but our Club Couture co customers get an amazing discount, so amazing that we can't even share it here publicly. Uh, you also get Happy Mail. You get lives that are much better than the intro of this one. And it's awesome. The third way you can experience Chalk Couture is to join as a designer. And we've gotten so many people reaching out to us in the last couple of weeks from other companies. Um, and literally, I won't tell you what companies, but a lot of these people are like, I have been working my direct sales business. Here's the name. Um... How is it that you guys are able to stay at home? Like, I've been trying, and then I share our comp plan, and they're like, oh my gosh. And the fact that we're brand new, and we're not, like, when you look us up, there's, like, not a ton of d designers. For example, Sensi, and I'm not talking about Sensi, but in general, because I actually am a Sensi person, because I just get the discount, because I like their stuffed animals. But um, there is, like, I forget how many, is it millions? Yeah. 
We're same, not there. Same with not even close. Same with Zotero. Um, so you can, uh, this is still ground level. Like you can literally with the comp plan work from home like Sean and I have done. So anyways, um, if you're interested or have questions, let us know. Reach out to us and we can answer them. If you have questions during tonight's live, make sure they're in caps so Sean can see them and we can answer them. Today, I am doing a project that I have not done in a very long time and I get this request all the time. So I'm happy to announce we will be playing with hmm. the vintage truck today. Huh? Now, a couple things on the vintage truck. Um, I am not a just put on the truck and... Do you have somewhere else to be, sir? No. What I, is so important on your phone? I got a message. That's why I don't wear the Apple Watch. Fun fact. Don't use the Apple Watch anymore. This is yours. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Number one, because Mine's Sean broke broken. his and I gave him mine. But number two, it's not good. You think it's bad having a phone and getting notifications? Try having a watch and it going off every two seconds. And this happens where literally during a live where we should be paying attention mostly to you guys because you're the most important thing in the world. Not for Sean. His watches horrible he does that it, when i'm talking to him he'll i'll be like literally like sean i'm pretty sure my leg needs to be amputated and he's like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not funny you will have to push me in a wheelchair up a hill just saying mm -hmm. okay so um we're gonna play with the vintage track hi page hi page hi um happy birthday to your little one yeah. okay so let's go ahead and get started here we're gonna start with the smaller project because it's super duper easy these um, are our Aiden boards. I'm going to give you your first tip of the day. Oh my, I'm out. He tripped over his I'm tote done. bag. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Julie, where are you, Julie? Julie, Julie, Julie Miller, we will double check to make sure you are accepted. Died. Sorry, oh, I, it's I been a week. Died. I don't know why. We're usually very on top of that. Today is not my day. Sean, I almost died. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, we're going to move this over here. All right, so let's go down here. Tip one. Say it again. She said, whose birthday? Can you please move my camera down here? Yes. Three times I have asked. No, you have not. How many times have I asked? Just that time. Three times I've asked. Okay, we might be divorced by the end of this. <laughs> well, we'll get married and then a divorce. Okay, so zoom out too, possibly. I'm telling you guys, Team Sean people are going to have a rough day. All right, so this is our Aiden board. I love our Aiden board. Our Aiden board has got some distress. It's got some beautiful magnets you can put on it. But one of the things I don't love is these things in the back. Because the Aiden board, in order to, uh, if you want to take it all apart, it has these little things. And it hurts my little fingers to do this. So go to your local hardware store this is a can paint can opener and utilize this i won't take it all the way around but this will help you prop these little things up now be careful because every once in a while these little things will come out and then you have to it's a whole thing but anyways that's your tip all right so let's start so i'm going to use our fine mist sprayer this has distilled water because Sean says it is the purest form of water on earth. Is that true? That's what I've heard, but I can't, you know. You can't. Say you that. can't. Not, I can't. I can't confirm you that. You can't without... confirm or deny this. He would have to kill you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to let this marinate. Um, this has been on here for probably four months. Mm, no. Just a couple months. A couple months. But even that couple months... Um, the paste is, of course, hardened, and by spraying it on there, it will absorb. Now, this surface, even though I know people are afraid, like, oh, it's going to, I'm going to scratch it, you won't. It's all good in the hood, all right? So, and we're going to grab tool number two. What's that, Sean? That is our um, surface scraper made paint with... Paint scraper. Paint scraper. Paste scraper. And it is a hard nylon, so... So next week we will be uploading our video that will be called Four Easy Tools to Clean All of Your Chalk Couture Products. So this way you can share it with your teams and stuff. Mm -hmm. So the paste scraper is literally this. It scrapes the paste off your board, which you will love because I used to use a bazillion baby wipes or Lysol wipes. 
and those were hard to find during the for early days of COVID, let me tell you. All right, so once we have this, we're gonna go ahead and take a one baby wipe and just, voila. Well, that's a good question, Miss Ann Con. Hi, Con Ann. Ann Conklin. She says and asks, why can't designers share your life? Ooh, good question. That's a very good question. Um, so while I answer that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second way, or second, actually the third part of cleaning our surfaces. So we've used our mist sprayer. We've used our paste scraper. This is our border eraser. It comes in a two-pack. And this has no detergents or fragrances in there, so okay. it's not just like a magic eraser. Um, but what this will do is this is going to clean everything up and also get rid of this ghosting image. And this is left behind sometimes on our boards. Um, you can go up to us while I do that though. Mm, gotcha. So the reason you cannot share my lives. So as a designer, we have a thing called policy and procedures or sometimes referred to as our compliance department. Rules and, they and regulations. like to call me a lot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and one of the compliance is we cannot share lives. And it's really because um, we can't do what's called passively stack, meaning if I'm trying to get higher in the company, I put team members under, let's say, a different one of my team members. Um, so Paige is on one of my team is on my team. So I can't just trick you guys into signing up under her when you meant to sign up under me. So my videos have a call to action. All the links are in the description or all the links are in the Facebook post. And because of that, designers can't share the live because they'd be promoting another designer. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you guys to uh, inadvertently get um, in trouble with complaints. Now, you can not share it publicly. So you could still share it privately to yourself or in a group or something like that. You just can't share it publicly. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep using this board eraser. You can probably see a little bit. Um, you can barely see it there. Why do other designers not say share? They say to sprinkle this. Ooh, Vicky, that is such a good, good question. Go back up to me. I'll explain that. I love you for asking that question. So, fun fact. If you go to a lot of um, social media experts, they will say that if you post in your post, like, comment, or share or even say during your life, your Facebook, the Facebook will basically not promote your video because they don't want, they want organic reach. They don't want the reach of, because you told people to do it. So because of that, a lot of people won't even use the words out loud, share, like, or comment because they're afraid it will not show in the algorithm. So a lot of people will say sprinkle, or I'd love for you to spread the love or something like that. So anyways. Back to the board. Good questions tonight, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right, my ADD is on a whole nother level today. So you can still actually a little see the bike, just a shimmer a little bit, not too much. Um, so you could continue to go, but we're good. All right, so the last step is to dry your board. And I just use our fuzzing cloth for this. Now, what I love about Chalk Tour, besides the fact that it makes uh, my life a whole lot easier because I don't have to weed stuff and transfer it, is you can change it up with the seasons. So a lot of people, can you zoom out just a scotch? Yeah, a lot of people will buy a nice board um, for a good amount of money and they don't want to obviously make that board permanent. So you can actually change it up with the seasons like we're doing to fall right now. All right. The transfers I was going to use today were out. Did you accidentally put them away? What'd you need? Oh. I had some transfers out. No, I just left them here and now I think you need them. All right, let me see if I put them in here. Sorry, Sean. Don't mean to be in your, your beds. For those who are asking, he... Hmm. Cut his fingers on a, like paper cuts on oh. his fingers with. That's right. I put him in here. On a box. Before I died. Almost died. All right. So, yeah, you can get a paper cut just off a cardboard box. Did you know that? I did. I'll do get what? Cardboard box. That's what it was from. I know. All right. So, um, always make sure before you start pasting that you know where your hanger is. Now, our Aiden boards do not come with hangers. So, you either A, can hang them with. Um, 
like a metal wire or just put this on. So like on our trick or treat board, Sean actually installed, are we going to which camera, Sean? He installed this, which I prefer because that way you can do a nice center without um, the worry. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is kind of a pain a little bit. So you can just use these. We just get them at Home Depot. And these are the nail ones. They're not a screw. They're actual nail. So there you go. Tip two. All right. So we're going to utilize this new cute transfer. This is the fall floral frame. And um, I love this. Now we're going to use this in conjunction with the A transfer. Leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. Isn't that cute, Sean? Mm -hmm. Leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. What is this? This is a flame. Fall frame. Um, this is a brand new transfer, and this is going on an Aiden board. So we're going to fuzz. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. And what's fuzz mean? Oh, I love the smell of our transfers. Fuzzing means that you're going to be placing a layer of fuzziness to the sticky side so it's not as sticky but won't that ruin my transfer Sean? it won't it, be as sticky anymore it will not because that will wash off when you clean your yes so ooh, a great question i got from someone one time um i won't say who but uh every once in a while your transfers will have what i call little hairs of your transfer which means in the detail of like your transfer sometimes you'll see like little parts of the teal it almost looks like teal hair um, if you just wash your transfer with our board erasers, it will take that away. All that is, is part of the emulsion process didn't um, take that part away. Now you have a little hair on there. So, all right. So we are going to utilize a lot of our shimmer colors. I'm going to first center this. And I want to kind of keep the theme that I've been doing on this. So we used... Um, on our fall board over here, we used copper and olive. So I'm going to use those again. Do you want to grab that board, Sean, so you can show people Which one is it? the fall? Uh, oh, yes. Summer falls into the or summer collapsed. collapsed into fall. So we used our shimmer olive and our shimmer copper. And then we used fig inside. So we're going to be utilizing all of these colors as well. So I'm going to grab those colors. Um, and once again, if you have questions, please let us know and we'll be happy to answer them. I'm going to check to make sure we have it at the right consistency. So this is our fig. Can we go in a little tighter, Sean? I can. So we did a good job cleaning these, so we're good to go. How's that? Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, a little bit further out. Sorry. You want it out? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. How's that? Perfect. So I'm going to grab all of our colors and place them here. And then I'll grab white. Hello, Jill. All right. So we are ready to go. So I'm going to alternate between my colors of shimmer, olive, and copper with these. And then I'm going to try to do these little flakes in white. Um, but I'm not going to worry as much about getting those. I'm going to actually use my marker. <clears throat> you are looking at your watch and you're no, yawning. No, I did not look at my watch. I'm looking at that. I, was I swear, to he does love you people. He does. He does. He's not bored with you or no, anything. No, I get up much earlier. Stop it right now. You just stop Especially it. with the two dogs. Just stop it. Waking me up. I tell you all the time, I will get up and you always tell me no. You won't get up. I what? You wouldn't get up. I would. If you told me I want to sleep in, I would absolutely do that for you. Oh, thanks. So I'm going to start with the Shimmer Olive with the leaves over here. So we also have a leaf here and we have a leaf here. So I'm just going to hit that with the Shimmer Olive. I am telling you, the shimmer colors, I don't know what they did to them, Sean, but they are on a whole nother level. A whole nother one. Don't you agree? Like, like they're just oh, yeah, so, absolutely. like, wow. All right, I'm going to grab our shimmer copper, and this is 
Um, I always tell people it's like the closest you can get to the look of a real new penny, which rhymes with Kenny. Yes, it does. And Kenny is one of the best names on the planet. It is. And I'm just randomly um, placing this um, in different spots. So no rhyme or reason. We just want to play with the different colors. And sometimes you just want that randomness, don't you, Sean? Absolutely. Do you even listen to me sometimes? Or yes, do you just agree with stuff I say no. during the live? But I have caught you before where you just agree. Of course. And then I put you on the spot and say, Sean, what, what did I just <laughs> say? I just and you're say like, I don't know. What did you say? You make life so fun. Me you know or that? you? You. I do? Yeah. Ah. Of course you do. Cause, uh, do you want me to sing a song to you because of that? No. Okay, we're going to grab a little bit of white. Mm, let's do white. Here. So as you can see, no rhyme or reason, just kind of going around. So, Kita Crank says, do you like doing the chalk stuff too, Sean? Of course. I don't do it often, but I do like doing it. It's very easy to do. You could do it often, but he doesn't... I don't, wouldn't say you don't like doing it. I think you just... He doesn't like coming up with the ideas. No. He doesn't think he's a creative person. No, I'm not. And so he would much rather me come up with the ideas and he is just the... Like, I tell him what to do, but... I think he would be great with the ideas. He just needs to put himself out there and do it. What do you all think? Oh. I have the shimmer red. What's the difference between it and a crimson? Asks Vicky. The shimmer uh, red. Oh, I'll let Sean answer this. He knows this answer. So shimmer red, obviously it has the shimmer in it. Um, and it's not like the other one that we had with the gold, right? It's, it is. There it was is. no other shimmer red. So okay. the shimmer red she's talking about is from last year's mm -hmm. catalog. Um, it was an Invo color, and yep. it was red with flakes of gold. gold. Um, and in my opinion, it wasn't as wow as the Shimmer Crimson. I think the Shimmer Crimson and all the new Shimmer colors are oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yes, absolutely. Fatima says, Sean did the best Halloween, Halloween board ever. He did? I think, is that, that the big... Um, I don't remember uh, you doing a Halloween board. I did. You did a Halloween pillow. Yeah, uh oh, I did. Are you talking? Because the only ones he's done by himself, besides, I'm trying to remember, is he did the arm table to table to the uh, one that yeah Fatima actually got, and, and the then one, she was the one asking that. Um, the <laughs> Halloween though one, I don't remember a Halloween board. Yeah. Well. Or did you do one of the I did. A, I did the. Mess? I did the hall. I did that Halloween hat. That was one of the first ones we did, yes. That was quite a while. I'm going to mute us while I dry, so one moment, guys. And we're back. The new shimmer paste smelled different too to uh, to Robin. Oh, I don't know about that. I know that there are people in the company, like Jessica Douglas Wilson, who says her curtain jam smells like baby poop. Mm, which yes, <laughs> I don't know how what baby poop smells like. All right, so I will tell you guys the shimmer um, colors need a little bit extra time to dry. Yeah. Um, so as they are setting, I'm going to clean my lids out really quick mm -hmm. and... Oh, hello, Miss Gore. Oh, that's right, Heidi. I did do the Victorian skull, um, transfer, you but I, you, Sean, you I did that on a pillow that turned out really cool. I, uh, bar none, I think is one of the best looking 
high detail uh, transfers I've ever seen. It'd be great if they could do more of those type of things. Uh, let's see. Received a shimmer and had no power. Oh, how sore. Which one are you remembering you did? What's that? You said you do remember doing one. Well, Which one? Yeah, well, Heidi was saying I did the, like we said, the uh, Victorian skull. But I did that on a pillow, not on a... Yeah, pillow. he did. I do remember him. Um, I don't have the transfer. I wish I did. It was a cute transfer. It's a witch's hat that says cast a spell or... I don't remember what it says. Yeah. I got rid of it. Yeah. He did that with spider webs all over. Yeah. And did... he actually had the little spider come down from the hat. It yeah. was really cute. Somebody asked if I did the uh, the haunted house, but you did no. that one. You did that one. I love the haunted house. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be doing it again for this um, Halloween to put... We use it as a background. Yeah. Um, Brenda Gore asks, does the new Shimmer Crimson have more silver instead of the gold? The All of the Shimmer colors have... Um, I wouldn't say it has any, I think it just has that color. So like in the shimmer red, can you go to shimmer oh, crimson? Sure. Right. Um, I think they put like a crimson, like almost mica powder in it. You can see real, real good in this one. So it, there's no flakes of white or anything. It's just is, I think it's like, this one's gotta be flakes of probably crimson, right? When you say? Like a crimsony color? Yeah, unless the the crimson itself is making it look like it's crimson. I don't know. All right. So we are going to now grab the leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. And here we go. Yep, and that was my first one. Sorry. It's okay. My apologies. I adore Sean, but we used to have a system of letting us know when we needed to talk. Yes. So what was the comment that? Uh, Fatima said, yes, it was your, she said, I, the witch's I've, been, hat. I've been watching you ever since we started. And yes, that was my worst one. Not sure if I'm going to use the leaf. I think I'm just going to do the falls. Leaves are falling. You have been watching Fatima since the beginning. Do you remember our very, very first project, Sean, that we ever did live? I don't even know if it was alive, but Haunted Mansion wasn't it. What was the first? Your soundtrack is off now. I would say Betsy. Refresh. Le uh, refresh and then come back. Um... The sad thing is, is I am not sure be of our first projects anymore because I had to delete them all on my old Ken's Creations page. And that's where I went live all the time. Is that centered? What do you think? Or does the side need to, to go me, down? To me, it looks like it just needs to go to the so right. So what are we having for dinner tonight, Sean? He's so excited. He got a Costco. Costco's um, pre-made um, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Has anybody had that before? Which one? We've never had it, have we? No, we haven't had that one. We've had their ma their uh, mac and cheese. Which yeah. I wasn't impressed with. Yeah. We've had it was their, all right. We've had their shepherd pie. Ooh, that was good. And we had their chicken pot pie. Their shepherd? Oh, the I don't remember pie. the shepherd pie. I the do. chicken pot pie is good. The shepherd pie is the one that has the mashed potatoes on top. Oh, I didn't like it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to use the shimmer um, frost for the sentiment. And I love this. I can't wait to use this for snow. Snow. Which we got off of our old board. It was hard. It was a that snow had been on there for years. Gail has a question. Sure. What's your question? Can you please answer the lumpy paste issue? I have quite a few of them. Is it new? And if so, is it um, what color? So uh, the there was. Out of the spring catalog, spring summer, which would have been our last catalog, a lot of the in vogue colors were lumpy, even mine, especially like Blue Jay was. Um, pink grapefruit was okay. Yeah, and one white. One white was lumpy. Um, and the company acknowledged it and they did a uh, batch testing, meaning they went to go pull all the stuff off. And because of that, you can come up to us for a quick sure. section. 
because of the lumpy issue, what you're talking about, the company now is putting dates on all of our pace. So now there will be a date and lot number, I think, on all. So this way they can track it. Because mm -hmm. the problem they had was there was lumpy paste and they acknowledged it, but they didn't have any way of tracking it. They, they had yeah, no way we, of, no. of saying, oh, this came out of this lot, which now they do. Hi, little know. miss. Will you dry that, Johnny? I can. We'll mute just for a moment here. Awesome. Let's take a quick peek. That's all we're going to do with this one. Um, I wanted it kind of simple, but I really wanted it to tie into the other board. So the other board, I'll grab it real quick. Um, I wanted to use the same colors, kind of say, you know, the same kind of feel to the other one. So let's grab that. Gail is answering your question from the um, lumpy stuff. She says they are new and it foams up out of the jar. Ooh, yeah, so they are addressing it. Um, white has been particularly bad. Some of the greens have. Um, and they had, they have said it has to do with the water you're using and the lots. And that's why, once again, they're having lot numbers. So if you have those, um, if you're a designer, reach out to them. If you're a customer, reach out to them because it's 100% satisfaction guarantee and mm -hmm. they'll replace it. So I had two whites that did that. In fact, there was one time we put it on and we went into the drawer and it not only did it bubble up, it came out of the jar and got all over everything. So they replaced it. So, um, all right, so let's take a peeky. So I really wanted this to be a cohesive statement and look at how good this looks together. I, I just love, love that. So we were done with project one. We're moving on to project two. And this is the one I will be honest, will probably take a little bit of time because I love the vintage truck. It is one of my favorite uh, projects to do. So we'll bring that uh, back up on us here in just a quick sec. And I'm going to get things ready. Now, for those of you who do not know, we have a vintage truck and our vintage truck is awesome. It's a staple. In fact, they've tried retiring it a couple times now and the designers have um, said no. Said no. Uh, but what's cool about the vintage truck is you have a whole series to choose from. So basically, I'll show you the basics and then um, in the catalog I'll show the ones in the catalog right now are just the uh, fall and winter, but we have a spring summer one too uh, that just actually released. So let's go ahead and go down to this camera mm -hmm. real quick, Shawnee. And so the vintage truck literally starts with the truck right here. And so this is the truck. And then they give you add-ons to put stuff in the back of the truck. So this is the fall, autumn, fall, and then this is the winter. And then the spring, summer has like leprechauns, hearts, I'm trying to remember, leprechaun hearts, Easter eggs. And then the summer has like surfboards, fishing poles, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Yes, it is. Those are fun. They are fun. So we're going to be using that and then pick your own pumpkin. And I'm going to grab, have Sean grab the board up there. So we can get that going. While he's grabbing that, um, we're going to go ahead and take the wreath off of this. We actually used uh, tape instead of a magnet on this one because um, we didn't have any strong magnets or command hooks. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go ahead and have Sean spray that. I'm going to go check on the pups real quick. And we're going to let that sit and marinate for a second. And it is all done up. Let me see if I have one of the new ones here. Bye, guys. Mr. Hades. Hi. Hi. They're so excited when they come inside. 
What are you doing, Shawnee? I'm trying to see if it. Oh, there. Here's what it looks like. It's right on the. It's state damp. Can you see it? It's right there on the top. So this is the new lot number, and then they're actually going to put a date on the bottom. Yeah. That, so that this part was the, hasn't started yet. Right? They haven't done that part, but this part is, and it basically they'll also start putting an expiration date. I guess not an expiration date, but a, a yeah, yeah. All right, so this one will be pretty easy to clean. We're just going to do down here. Sometimes it's the understatement of a board. So when I saw this at first, I was like, why don't, because Jazzy actually did this board and I didn't quite get it. And then literally this takes, what, two minutes to put on, but then you put a wreath and it gorgeous. Miss Angela Brown asks, Sean, what did you spray Ooh, on the frame? This is our fine mist sprayer, and all it has is distilled water. That's oh, it. Our little baby girl is so I'm, sad. I'm going to have to go get some more, too. You guys, I can't tell you enough how much little Miss Riles misses her Han. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. She usually would always, you know, be playing with him or active, and she just sleeps all day. I'm so sad for her. Um, so I'm taking my uh, board eraser and we're just going to make sure we get that. So you can see right here the home is a little bit still you see that kind of ghosting. You can let me bring it up so you guys can see it at an angle there. So um, if you have that, um, grab a board eraser and then put a little extra force into it. So our board erasers normally would not require, you know, a lot of pressure, but anytime there's ghosting, if you put a little bit extra force to it, you're going to get that ghosting away. Um, and, uh, but you're also going, you could, you can see like I'm wearing it out pretty quick. Uh, and once it dries, the ghosting will really go away. So Sean went and left and got us our distilled water, 98 cents. 96 or 94 at uh walmart 98 cents of kroger slash kroger taking Slur. our money but then you can also buy more expensive stuff for in the baby section it's like why it's the same stuff unless they're adding something more to it which i don't understand why why would the why do babies need distilled water um i don't know oh okay I thought you had you were gonna have like an all-knowing, I have no idea why. Amazing answer that I'd be like, Sean, you know all. That makes so much sense, you know, but you don't. <laughs> he doesn't, guys. All right. I didn't. So let's go ahead and start. Now our truck comes in two parts, and I get people asking all the time, how does this work? Because. Which one do you put down first? Is what color is gonna be where? And how do you line it up? So I'm gonna show you all that. I want it kind of in the center of my board. And so, excuse me, Sean. Now you could do a measuring on it. I do what's called the hinge method. I'll show you what I mean on that. First and foremost, so what color should we make our truck, Sean? Hmm. I'm trying to go with what we have. I think I'll do um I think I got it. Are you sure she's not sick? Uh, she I hope not. I hope not. She shouldn't be because she hasn't been anywhere. When she gets, you know, when you when you when you play with her, or lay with her, she's happy and she wagged her tail and fine. But she still is a sad little girl. Crystal real. Can you use anything on, as a surface or just wooden chalkboard? You can use as long as it sticks to it and adheres to it and creates a good seal. You can chalk on it. Yeah. Or ink it. So um, let me go ahead and measure these boards. I measure from the inside. And so we are right at, well, maybe I won't do the inside because it's, easy. well, 17 mm -hmm. and a four. They use the sealed water and babies for their formula. Oh, that's good to know. Because some other waters may have stuff in it that's not good. Gotcha. Okay, so we're at 17 and a quarter, and I hate doing this kind of math. So 17.25. So we need to be at 8.62. Which is right about there. Which is eight and an eight. Eight 
and an eighth. Right? All right. And so I'm going to do it right about, right about, what do you think, Shawnee, right about there? Looks pretty good. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay, so, oh, and I did this backwards. Huh? I was trying to be all helping you guys and I messed up. Well, I didn't mess up, but. So I want to start with this one, actually, and we're going to start this over. I'm going to bring it. What do you think, Shawnee? Is that in the center of the board, do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll bring the board down here in one set. Oh, thanks for, you already have it. Um, about four. Yep. Okay. And I don't measure. I probably should, but I just do this test, which is Shawnee test. Are we talking center, top, and bottom, and yeah. side to side? Side to side, top to bottom. Does it need to go up a bit? Oh, man. I would measure it. It, it looks like it's fine, but I can't tell. All right, Shawnee. I'll measure. My least favorite thing to do. But that's okay. 9.25. Nope. We're good. Wow, Yay. Yeah. We're rock stars. All right. So you could... um. Start with the base and do it, but I do what's called the hinge method. So I put this first layer down because that's the layer. So Sonia, watch very carefully. I don't think you're doing it wrong unless you're doing this one first. This should not be first. Nope. We're just laying it down first. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is I take this one and I'm going to figure out where it is on the truck. Now, you could do you know this at first and i it but i've never had luck so i literally put it on top of this and then i take a piece of my transfer tape and i place this on the outside of this transfer like so now if you don't want to do it that way you can also do the hinge method where it's two this way but i find it easier to do this okay so once i have this part down i take this and hinge it up like so and then i'm going to take this do transfer tape there and we're going to hinge all what up. it's hades he's like con he barks for no reason and i'm going to hinge this up like so i'm going to let him out in just a sec shorty i'm going to let him out thanks go so now that i have this i can easily hinge that back into place so that way I'm not worried about, okay, is it centered? Um, is this fine? So I, that's how I do it. You'll hear other people that do it a different way, but this is the way it works best for me. And you can kind of check yourself by bringing it back down and making sure it works. But that's how I've always done the truck. And because of that, I've never had an issue. So it was a, a something I did in my paper crafting days to um, do cards and hinge them up and stuff. So... Uh, that's how we've always done it. Hi, huh, Shawnee. That is correct. We're going to start with Fig. Now, this truck, I will tell you, the truck has an open, I always call this kind of a open dangerous zone, meaning if you have any ripples or bubbles in here, um, because it's so open, you're definitely going to see it. So you want to make sure to kind of feel for it and make sure it's good to go. Jenny's getting inky with it has an interesting question. I love that name. I know. Sean, can you use chalk couture wax on fabric that is attached to a board and chalk it? Uh, I don't understand what you mean, but... So th there you have a board that's got fabric on it, and you want to know if you can wax that. Why would you want to wax the I, fabric? I don't know why you'd want to wax fabric. That it, it, it doesn't sound correct to me. It sounds like something would go wrong. You might have to explain further. Yeah. All right, so we're going to remove this bottom layer, and we have the first part of the truck. I'm going to go um, do this, and Sean's going to dry I'm going to dry this. Mute.
So you wanna make sure that this layer is 100% dry. Um, and if and when you're ready to put the next layer on, it's really important to make sure, number one, that it, this is dry, but number two, that your truck, if it is new, you fuzzed it. Mine isn't new, but I'm still gonna fuzz it, even though we did that hinge method. Um, you should be able to still fuzz it just like this. And the reason why is nothing is worse than doing the truck and your bottom layer comes up. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, you can easily, um, you know, explain it away because the truck is distressed and stuff, but uh, you just want to, if you take the steps beforehand, it should work out for you. I hear a question coming on. Jenny getting inky with it. She says, so you can chalk it and then remove remove to reuse. Yep. I No, I don't think that, I do not believe you can do that at all. Mm -mm. No. All right. So we're going to now bring this down and it should da, 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 line up perfect. If it doesn't, do not be discouraged. Yeah, if you accidentally stretch your truck either one way or the other and try to get it to match, yeah, it's not going to work. That's why I have so many trucks, because yeah. I've stretched my truck. And we're going to use this beautiful exclusive color that only designers got. And I always forget the name of it, but Sean says it is... What color do you say this is, Sean? It's uh, purple... Uh, not purple pocus, but purple... Um, presto purple. Presto, presto purple, yeah. Why do you have to use a hairdryer? It just speeds up our process before you do, especially when doing layered. This is a layered piece. Um, I could, we could walk away and wait, you know, 15, 20 minutes if we want, but we don't have that kind of time. So we use the hairdryer to speed all of this process up. Now you could break up the truck and do your wheels black and all that stuff, which we will probably do um, over, but a lot of people like to do this all in one color and I will do that and then I'll go back and do black on the tires but this way I can still have a little bit of purple down there and I'm going to ink all the way up to this part and we'll chalk the this part in brown because it's supposed to be kind of like a it's a fence a fence it's a bed fence the, it's a what bed bed of a truck fence bed fence I don't know if I've ever seen a truck. I guess that was in the 50s, huh? Uh, so you get, uh, some uh, people who are um, construction workers and stuff, they'll put things like that, even in the newer trucks, just to have some extra height so things uh, don't fall, so things don't fall over. And then I'm going to grab my bark for this part. Are you measuring? No, I am uh, zooming in a little bit. Gotcha. Let's see what you're doing. I just need to have that. I'm, I'm so afraid I'm going to lose this cap. So the number one thing to not um, stretch your truck transfer is to pull up, not towards you. I'm going to wash this, and we're going to put it back down and add a little bit of black to the tire. Will you dry that for me, Sean? I sure can. Drying time. So that's what happens when I do something and I go to wash it and I come back thinking it's going to look so great. And I'm like, 
oh, that looks awful. And I know it's awful when Sean even says, yeah, I don't yeah. think that looks good. So we're going to start over. <laughs> Somebody said to do the, the two new blues. The two, ooh. The new blues. Well, I was trying to keep my color the same because I did the same color and everything. So um, I want to do that. So I definitely want to use fig, but I think instead of, I might do current jam do... or... I should do what, Sean? Either fig in, the, in your olive or the... Well, I was going to do... Because you need a, an absolutely different contrast. For the I trucking. do? I think so. Oh, okay. When you do a tr when you do the trek in two different colors, they should be two different types. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to look at this and see what I want to do with it. Fig and copper. Ooh, that might be nice. Yeah, fig and copper would do well. What about just fig and gray? Sean doesn't like fig, it. Fig and gray? I like the fig and copper. Fig and copper? Mm-hmm. I don't. Well, and if not, well, because I'm looking at this, just how these two. Let's see, that's why I thought maybe your your green and the fig. See, see how different contrast these are. Yeah. I think that's why these two would look really nice together. Have have this as your bottom and that as the top. Or I could do fig and copper. Whoever thought that idea was good, yeah. that's a good idea too. So I would do the copper as the top, fig as the bottom. Sorry guys, we're really this is important work. You can go up to us while I figure out my color scheme. What do you guys think? Let's see. I definitely didn't love that color. Harvest in copper. Fig and white. Fig and copper. Burgundy with... We don't have a burgundy. Um, well, your fig is, might as well be a burgundy. Uh, no, current jam is more of a burgundy. Yeah, that's true. All you know what? I do awesome. like the fig and copper. I just... Would I do the copper as the top? What do you think? As in, like, the whole outline of the truck? Well, you have a bottom layer and a top right. layer. So, what I do, the fig is, that's what I guess I, I think I'm asking. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think maybe the copper as the outline material, the top, in other words. Uh, when in doubt, let's see what the catalog did. Oh, they did, ooh. They did. I... I think that's scarlet. I don't like that either. No, Ooh, I, I think, like this though. Yeah, the black. What if I did the fig? black? You can't do black on black though. That's the I know, but what if I did? You really don't think? I do like fig and copper. So if we did fig and copper on the top, yeah. Olive and copper. I would do copper on the bottom. So the main, the main bottom. So you're yeah. saying the blue and copper? Yeah. See, I think that would be in copper and that this would be in fig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on board with you. Or copper I mean, look top. at all of them. So let's look at this, guys. Let's copper look at top, this. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this camera and see what you guys think. So we could do this. We could do this. Or we could do wow. this. I love that copper and green. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> and that would be good, too. But you don't love that. I I think that I think the that and that that's good. And that's good. I think copper in that is there. I think that fig is just too muted. What about this? Yeah, that one's fine. You like that? Yeah. Okay. That one's fine. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Olive and copper. Ooh, that was a hard one, guys. I know. But we made it through it. We did. It's what teamwork's all about. You're right. Sean, if we are going to make the dream work, it's going to take... I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't with you. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? I heard you. I'm trying to remember the how you say that. If teamwork makes the world... Makes the... Shoot. How does it go again? What rhymes with dream work? To make the dream teamwork, work... You have teamwork. Yeah, with him. So a lot of people are seeing copper and green, fig and green. Look at that. You guys have such, I know, I think I'm going to do fig and, because I'm going to use copper with pumpkins and stuff. So I think that's what, I, I think I'm decided. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure. We might erase it. And the answer to that, Angela, is yes, you can. Like I just did. You almost, you'll almost, I, I don't think I've ever seen a dried out or too thick of a shimmer. It's almost always just fine. Okay, Shawnee. I need your expertise again on making sure I'm in center. Oh, wait. See? No, I got my, my grooves all off. <laughs> what happened to my other part of my trunk? Is it inside your towel? Nope. Is it inside that towel? No. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Um, listen, when you're doing the vintage truck, sometimes you're going to make mistakes, aren't you, Shawnee? Yeah, sometimes you're going to do things and they're ugly. Nancy, like, Nancy says copper on the wood part on top of the bed of the truck. Um, there was a time where we did my dad, we, we didn't do my dad. We did a board for my dad. We used our brand new studded, uh, burlap board. And I was mm -hmm. so excited because it was a happy Halloween. Um, they don't have it anymore, but we did a hot mess and I used my favorite colors, which was at the time, kiwi, grape soda, and um, orange peel. And I lifted it up, and you could barely see the kiwi on that burlap board. That's when I learned that, oh, you got to do dark colors on that. Yes, indeed. All right, so we're going to go back to our hinge method. And I'm going to start by putting this here. And we we're gonna nine and a quarter was the correct measurement. Yeah. Look at that! I'm getting good at the centering game, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those that missed out on the fun, we're gonna do the hinge. So the hinge, once again, is just where I place the first layer or the second layer down first, and this layer down and hinge it. And that way, it makes it easier, in my opinion, to line up. Voila. You're so funny. I don't know what it is. To make the dream work, it takes what? Teamwork. But it's supposed to be teamwork makes the dream work. But isn't it really the same thing? You're just saying it a different way? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do fig on this right, is what you're saying? And then we're doing the fig in which one? The green? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Isn't that what we decided? Or do we not, not know now? Hello, Miss Fox. Let me see. Who are you talking? Oh, Julie Fox. Hey, Julie. Are we going back to the debate? I'm just trying to figure out what would be best. Uh, green bottom, fig on top. Really? Okay. See? Oh, what a smart way of doing that, Sean. You're so smart. Show everyone what you just did. I did. Green bottom, fig so on got, top. That's so that's how we got his like. Yeah, because this, this looks like it would look too weird. We don't say weird, Sean. Strange. We don't even say that. We say, we say, um, I don't know. Wait, Betsy, it wasn't the fig. It was the fig and the purple. I shouldn't mixed have done the, Those yeah, two together just. They were too close. They were way too close, which is why I don't like the ones that are so close to each other that you. He can, likes it different. Yeah. Yeah. I think a, a good two different contrasts are best. And so he just basically did this to demonstrate. I don't even know if I'll like this. This might come off two peeps. We don't know. Might be good. Might be bad. We'll never know until we know. Mm -hmm. But that's all part of learning. Right, Shani? We all got to start somewhere. So this, just so you guys know, this is the wheel well. So this should match the truck and then that will be my tire. So we want the wheel wheel to be copper or wait, which one are we doing on the bottom? I've already We're forgotten. Doing fig on the this is fig and this is all this. No, I thought you said the other way around. I thought you said this way. 
Yeah, right. This means this. This the big bottom base. Okay. Yeah. And then. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Or right. you can do brown, or you can do copper on your wood. I'm gonna do brown. There you go. I'm not sure I'm gonna like. This is kind of looking like a little like Wizard of Oz. I'm just saying. We'll see. Not saying I'm in love with it. Not saying I hate it. I did not like the first go around, so I didn't like it at all. It's all right. And that happens sometimes, Sean. Sometimes mm -hmm. we do things in life and we say, oof, where are you going, little miss? You have an itch? I think she's depressed. I think we need to get her into the doctor. Stat. Okay, so because we are using shimmer as a bottom layer, we need to make sure. And dry, dry, dry. Dry, dry, dry. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You know it. Whoa! Yeah. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You All know right. it. Well, Miss Nancy and Craig, that would be interesting. Bumblebee on the first panel and purple shimmer for the top and copper for that. That would be interesting. Oops, I forgot to turn that off. That would be interesting. I don't know. Maybe. But we're sticking with this for now. <laughs> almost, almost feels like 20, 220 grit sandpaper. Now I want to watch The Wizard of Oz. Eh, you know. What? I was watching, I, I was just saying what Craig said on doing Bumblebee here and then the um, Purple Shimmer on the rest. That would, be, mm. that, would be, that would be interesting. And then Copper for the Wood. So many different ideas with yeah, this. No. You can't go wrong. All right, wait, are we sure this is dry? Touch it. Good job, Sean. Thanks. You, I don't expect professionalism, and you deliver. I try. All right, so we're gonna do wheels in gray. Gray. Brown. Okay. We can do this, Sean. This is going to be beautiful, right? <laughs> what? Of course it will. Yeah, I'll do this in red too for that. Uh oh. And there they go. Uh, Jenny's getting inky with it. Isn't there a yellow shimmer? It's actually kind of a yellowish gold. Harvest. I like it. It's called Harvest Shimmer. And you have it over there, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think it's behind us. Behind, um, yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous. So that's the Harvest Shimmer.
These dogs are up to no good. No good. These puppies. I so want to keep baby Hades. He is... Jazzy's lucky she got this one. Mm -hmm. He is his father's son. son. He is just so like his daddy. Why aren't you, bud? Hi, Randy. Hi, Hades. Hi. Hello, ZZ. Going to release the flying monkeys. <laughs> Brenda, I like that idea. What was her idea? She says, sounds like we should have a challenge on it where we all submit photos of different trucks and different color combos. See what actually looks really cool. It's so... Jeez, uh, oh, hey. wheezy. That scared me. We Hades. do not need that. We do not need that. Okay. All right. That doesn't make me mad. I actually like it. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. Together as a team, we made it, guys. Nice job. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to dry this. So one moment. So that did turn out pretty cool, didn't it? What, Tony? It does. A, it did turn out pretty good. Cat, yes, we we hear about the puppies all the time because we have a web uh, or a Facebook page that all the puppy owners are in, and they post and stuff like that. Of course, my niece has two of them. Google Bugs, real quick. So we definitely get to hear about them, and we see Hades all the time. We see we Luna see Hades basically every day, almost every day, and then we see Luna probably a little more often. Um, we see all of them really, yeah. and then we did a meetup. So yeah, we did a meetup not too, long which ago. I'm glad we did because Han was there, so the yeah. owners got to, got to get see. pictures with him, which is yeah. super nice. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm gonna give Sean the colors, and he can kind of very Halloweeny. It is kind of. This is Halloween. This, this is Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. Okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way real quick. And let's get our vintage truck. So this is the vintage truck fall um, add-on. So for those... What's going on? Oh, sorry. There we go. All right, you have me using them. <laughs> He's so sensitive too now because when like sound's not working or something, it takes like 30 seconds for the comms to catch up and all of a sudden you guys are all like, there's no sound, there's no sound, there's no sound. And then he's like, I know, there's no sound. I'm working on it. He's so... I'm working, I'm working on it. Sean, you're adorable. Thank you. All right. So... Um, so the add-ons are cool because they have stuff that go in the back of the truck. We're going to do the pumpkins because that's very fallish to me. So we're going to do the pumpkins, which we're going to use. That's where the shimmer copper is going to come in, bring in that copper. And then we have green that we might actually use a little bit of this. Um, or maybe I'll do orange peel and then I'm going to do that. So yeah, I think I will. So, um, thinking out loud. And then all of them have different things that go with it. So you have like, this one says the pumpkin patch, farm fresh, hay rides, harvest, crisp apples. One of my favorite boards we ever made was one last year that was a truck. And then I took the bed of the truck and 
created trailers and it was oh, pulling right. everything from the yeah. yeah that was a beautiful it was a long beautiful live. transfer too it was a long live but mm -hmm. um so all of her transfers new out of the package have cut lines and so the way i do my cut lines is i don't cut like this the only reason why is you can create little jagged edges and i have found that when i create jagged edges and i pull up those uh cuts Sometimes, unfortunately, I will tear the transfer mm -hmm. because those cuts of little jaggedness um, create the ability to easily pull on you. Vicki Howard asks, do they ever do they change the truck add-ons every year? Um, yes and no. So the only one they've ever officially changed was our summer add-on. Um, cause originally it was, um, I could get it, but, and then they also, um, changed the spring cause we used to have one that just had like hearts exploding and mm -hmm. spamox exploding and flowers and they changed it to have what, uh, it literally looks like someone's being trafficked. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I am not kidding. Let me show you. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. I shouldn't say that, but it is kind of funny. Let me go grab it. Oh, Tammy, he is not. He is not. No. Never never me. Um, it's 8.30 here. Or okay. 8.35 right now. I totally know it is a leprechaun. But if you did not put the pot of gold in the hat, it just looks like someone is being taken. Human mm -hmm. trafficked. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying, Sean. I know. Just saying. All right. We have our pumpkins. There we go. I'm actually going to use pumpkin patch and then the pick your own underneath of it. And then, um, are you? I'm looking for the garbage. Oh, okay. I can't see it more. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. All right. So we're going to grab our pumpkin patch. Now, the thing that a lot of people forget in this pumpkin or in between this farmer's fresh and pumpkin patch is the second part to your haystacks, which is right here. Yes. And a lot of people are like, I don't get these haystacks. Like, how do you get the second color? And even though it's there, a lot of people I think don't realize it. See it. Cause it's kind of, it's not hidden, but it's not, if you don't, sometimes these layers, you look at it and you're like, what, it, what it, does that go to? What were they thinking? I really hope they bring back Build a Bunny because that's one of my favorite transfers that mm -hmm. I don't have anymore. And the Build a Bunny transfer um, had so many layers. And the first time Sean and I did it, we were like, what does this go to? Okay, <laughs> so here's a perfect example. I'll have Sean zoom in here. So right here, I cut this. And normally it wouldn't be a big deal, but when you lift this, depending on how you lift it, you could potentially tear your transfer. So in those cases, what I'll do is just trim the edges um, because especially if it's a retired one, if you, once you tear it, no bueno. No bueno. So I'll just trim that excess off just to be on the safe side. All right, moving all along. And we are going to put all the pieces away that we do not need so we don't lose it because it is very easy to lose pieces when they're all out and about. Julie has an extra build a bunny. <gasps> is it new Julie? I need it. If the transfers ever wear out, they can eventually. Um, if you take good care of them, real good care, they'll last quite a while. But there's at a point that either Do you want to zoom in on you? Yeah. It's that if you either accidentally curl them really bad or tear them or did something you shouldn't have and it ruins it, then it's once it's ruined, it's ruined then you have to buy another one. Or you didn't fuzz it and half your transfer ends up stuck yes. to your board, which happened to us. What transfer was that? Was that the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year? Uh, or no, it was the Haunted Tree. The Haunted Tree. I was so um, wasn't there a build of princess Princess? Yes, there was. Absolutely. There's a build a robot, build, build a, a robot. monster, build a princess, princess. Yep. build a bunny. 
There's a lot of them. Okay, so here is where we sit right now. Here is our pumpkins. Oops, here is our stems. Right. And I am going to do a traditional um, color on these. But once again, cannot stress this enough. You want to make sure that your truck is dry before you start layering on it. Also, I'm going to do our little number system. And what is this for, Shawnee? This way you know which one is which when you put it back uh, the back of the sheet on it. If not, because they are completely different shaped when you're cutting them. Even when you get something that's a five by seven on every one, and let's say you do three or four of them, they all do not match at all. It's very bizarre because you'd think they're automatically cut perfectly each each and every one. And they're, they're, not. Not. they're not. I think they must be like in sheets yeah. at the factory and then they're cut because Sean's right. Like you'll get identical two transfers and they're just a fraction of a hair off know, every time. Horrible. Julie says it's yours if you want it. Oh, yay, Julie. Thanks. We'll take it. Um, so it is interesting to see when that is the case because they, they are. They're always just a fraction off. Yeah. All right. So this is the goes right here. And because these are a fabric type material, you can stretch them. And then you really know if you have stretched one because if uh, you put it back on and it's bigger than the transfer or the backing, then you know you've stretched it. And that's not fun either. Not fun. <laughs> Rebecca says build a bear. No pun intended. I know, right? Well, maybe, a little. Out of that bear. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> um, we've never had like a build a bear. We've had a, trying to, I think that's it. We've had a. Did, we didn't have a build a gingerbread, did we? We did have. Well, I don't think well, it was called a build a gingerbread, but it was maybe it was build a gingerbread. That one was cute too. That was the one that I did live. Yeah. And it, it, a piece of my sweat dripped on the gingerbread, and it looked like he peed his pants. Yep, peed his pants. And everyone was dying because I was like, I'm not redoing it because that was back in the day when our transfers, or excuse me, our paste had a different formulation, and it would constantly peel up. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> build a drink. There you go. We actually had that. Did we? Yeah. It was a build a drink and you could, you could, it was different cocktails. We had it. Oh, that's right. Brenda, look at you. Okay. I'm going to dry this. going to go uh, mute for a moment. Yeah, we had all kinds of build the things. Build the things. Where's my? Oh, yeah, we had build a Valentine. We had that drink. Build a drink. We had jack o' lantern. Build a jack o' lantern. We had the build a snowman. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So we've had a lot. I have all the catalogs still. So it's kind of fun to go through them and look at all the different things we've had over the years and guess which one. I knew that they were bringing back Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I just had, like, it's too good it's, of a transfer. It's too nice. Too but cool. But, darling, they, they had me convinced we were never going to see that one again. All right, so literally all this one is is you're lining up your negative spaces. So um, this is where it does come important on stretching because if you do stretch this... They're all going to be off. They're all going to be a hair off, which is frustrating. Um, so that's where really fuzzing and uh, lifting the right way is very important. Because I've done it before where no matter what we... If there is one, it's called the Vintage Christmas Tree, I think it's called. Or I forget. We have it down below. And it's a three-layered Christmas tree. It's gorgeous. Um, and it... Uh, I will tell you that thing, if you get it a centimeter off, it doesn't line up and it is beyond frustrating.
Sweet. Look at that. Believe me, it didn't used to always be this sweet. No. <laughs> there used to be a time where our pace would lift, and I would very, very politely say, Mother. <laughs> Mother. Oh, and Diana says she received both of these transfers today. How cool. I'm going to mute so we can dry. I need to know how to pronounce that name. Which one? The tree is difficult. Is it Shila Santoro? Shila. It's Shila Shila Santoro. Was I uh, holding your breath when peeling up the stem transfer? I was a little bit because <laughs> um, I have PTSD with the truck. Because if you... Um, this is cool too. They even add where they're like sitting down below them. You yeah. Little things here. Um, if you were part of our company in the beginning when we didn't have the best paste, it would peel on you and it would be so frustrating. Yeah, it would be. All right, so we just need to do our sentiment. So I'm gonna be doing a pumpkin patch up there. And this is from the, oh, it's from Pumpkin Patch, how fun. And we're actually just using the pick your own once we're done with that. And then at the bottom it says, one mile ahead, which we're going to be utilizing. Sheila was talking about that one Christmas tree that had the presents down below. I love, we have it. We have it, but it's a difficult one. It <laughs> is, and they give you registration marks, but I swear they don't work. They didn't work, no. And if you didn't have that just right, it, it looked horrible. It didn't look horrible, but it, it would it be. Looked, it looked all off. It looked a little, little cattywampus. All right, so um, this is the part where I start throwing different things in it, because I mid- um, project, I'll be like, ooh, I want to add this and I want to add this, but then I have to remember what transfers are from. So I'm going to see what borders I have, which I think I know which one I'm going to use. There is a D transfer that was called Border Variety. There it is. So Brenda Gore says, yes, old pace craziness. Here's what's funny, Brenda. We went and saw Brenda Durant and she has some of the original paste in eight ounce flat jar so feet, it looks like this but it was like this big around it was huge it I was mean, the original kickstarter original ones. kickstarter ones they were huge and it's like now that is what we need in white and black or that kind not the tall ones with the big flat ones it was very cool she had quite a few ones she even had a lot of the two ounce ones Yeah, Kat, that tree one is very, very cool looking. It's gorgeous. Because you did you did one that was really cool in... What was it? You did one in a burgundy one, uh, kind of a, I guess, mm -hmm. current jam or something, and another one in blue. Mm -hmm. It was and beautiful. Silver, blue. Yeah, it was very neat. Um, Where is my borders? Can you guys not hear me? Can they not hear you? Uh, there's more than one person who's been having Is it because you talk so soft? I talk. I well, we were. I was watching our show yesterday, and it, maybe you. I, I can hear myself fine. But maybe you started talking quieter. Or something. Unless you mean you talk like this. <laughs> I, even, I even turned it up too. Now, yeah. Melissa says she can hear me. Thanks, Melissa. I hear you fine. Okay. Right. So we have that. I just wanted to find my board of variety. So this is a D size transfer. It has all sorts of cool borders that go with it, mm -hmm. um, which I love because I was utilizing borders um, from like separate pieces to achieve borders. Like we use the Endless Love Laundry one. I still have a ton of those. I never use the transfer, but I use the, the border. All right.
Sound like you were going to have a question, and then you decided not to. Um, I was trying to find it. Brenda says, whoa, why did the super stash white, black, and gray go? Where did, what happened to it? it just so, um, it was really hard to use. So our squeegees would only go down so far. So then to try to get all the stuff at the bottom, you would have had to have, like, you really had to push down far. Um, and they weren't being utilized that much. People would just order two, three ounce jars because they were kind of a pain. Mm. I hated using them because remember your hands would get all. Yeah, it was horrible. But I think if they could do those again in those large. The ones, ones that Brenda had that in Brenda her had, house. Those would have been perfect. Those were cool. You could probably get a, the, the new angled squeegee in that thing. It was so cool looking. Okay. What does everyone think of the new angled squeegee? I'm still not a fan. Well, you haven't even tried it yet. I know I'm going to hate you it. You really need to. I'm going to hate it. No. I'm going to hate it. He's going to like it and then going, okay, I like it. Nope. I don't think I will. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so we're going to utilize these borders and we're going to build it down a little bit. So um, I'm going to start with that one, finish with that one down here, and then it will say pick your own or one mile ahead. And then up here, we're going to do the pumpkin patch. Oh, wait, I did this backwards. I'm doing this one up here, this one down here like so and then oh wait do i want to do hmm now i have options it's never good to give me options is it sean it's not it really is indecisive i'm very indecisive so we'll have to think about that okay so let's start with this up here i'm going to be utilizing the copper on the pumpkin patch and then the pick your own will be in a okay. Kim said that she did not buy the angle speech. She did not. I like that. The pokey tool was my idea. I'm taking credit for it. I don't care what anyone else says. Asked for it what a year and a half, two years ago. Mm. They said I want a pokey tool, and everyone's like, "Why do you want a pokey tool?" Now you know. Now you know. Fatima says the angled squeegee is kind of like me, Kenny. It will grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> I should try it. Sean always get. I just love my. I didn't care for the old one. I think the old one was. Why know, didn't you like just, the old one? The old I one didn't like it because it was clunky. It was too weird. Sean, um, you don't say weird. Why? Because that's not nice to say to things. Um, I think the new one looks a lot easier to use. One, it's just shaped correctly and <laughs> it's, it's normal like we normal. like it you're so funny sean all right so the one thing i always do measure is these because you really need to and that's good but i always do the site check with sean mm -hmm. all righty You know what, maybe I'll do this in white and the pick your own in copper. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, that's what I'm gonna do. I am. And there's no stopping me now. Where is my white? Uh, I don't know. Oh, here it is. That's your frost. No, this is white. Oh, oh, it's oh wait, white. maybe I do wanna do. <sighs> no, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm telling you, I'm indecisive tonight, Shawnee. So what is going to be interesting is that we're hoping, because they would not confirm or deny, that they're basically they're, confirmed. They confirmed it. They're basically they going they to comment. They're going to change the four inch we, squeegee. So say it how it is so we don't get in trouble. We said, mm -hmm. will you please give us a four inch squeegee in the material that is made with our other squeegees? And they said we can neither confirm or deny that. Right. And even was it I think it was Christine says, yeah, she says it's kind of like a, it's like a hard rubber, not a silicone, which is why they, um, when you use a, a weird color and you leave it on there, it, it, it'll stain it. And you can it is a rubber, it, yeah. And you cannot get it out. You can actually so, go online and find other companies that carry the same kind of foreign squeeze. So I'm hoping that they'll do it even like this with the double wedge, you know, the double angled edge on both on the four inch made out of this. And if they do, I, it'll be a hit. 
Look at that. Okay, I'm going to mute so we can dry. Watch your knees, Shawnee. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab the winter add-on, which is right here. Because it has... Nah, maybe not. I like the established 1950, but I don't wanna cut that transfer just for that one transfer. Okay, you know what I mean, Burn? No, 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 no. All right, so we're going to do the pick your own. Hopefully it's the same curvature, because if not, it won't look good. Should test it. It's a lot of work to test it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you mean. It is, Shawnee. Too much work for Kenny. Okay, so this we're going to utilize... Meg says, do the slashy border under the truck so it looks like a road. The slash, which one's the slashy? This one? That's the one I was thinking of using. Vivian says, do I recall you doing the truck with pumpkins last year or is this new? I did the he pumpkin. Did. Yes, he did. Yeah. That's why I don't do the truck as much as, not that people don't like seeing it, they love it, but to me, I've done it now so many times I like to use new transfers, but I do also realize people love, that's really different. Different shape, curve. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to love it. That's all right. It'll look great. I could have swore one there was one that said pick your own pumpkin, but in the truck. Is there not? Oh. Maybe not. So how many East Coasters do we have? It's midnight over there. What? It's, I wonder how many East Coasties. I know it's a late live. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. I guess it won't look that bad. No, it won't look bad. It won't look great. It'll look great. I don't like it. So I'll have to think of something else I want to put under there. Sorry, guys. So we have the cookie crumbles. We will use this because I do like the one mile ahead, but I really don't like the the curvature being off. I know you. I know some of you are with me. Don't lie. No. Uh oh. I just hurt my bag. Don't be upset, Sean. You ripped the bag. Yeah. Don't be upset. I just put some purple tape on it. Purple one. Ooh, Karen's in Newfoundland, Canada. Yeah, it's really late over there. It's one thirty. Sorry, Karen. Is this? The same curvature or no? Probably very close. It's got to be, right? It isn't. Isn't that weird? I mean, it's close, but... All right, we're going to do it. Oh, I probably should fuzz it. Should I fuzz it? Or should I chance it? Is that centered? Here, I'll hold it up for you. You can go up to one more, too, if you want. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. I like okay. it. I'm glad you like it, Sean. That makes my heart happy. Excellent. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. You can go up higher, though. You have some room. If you want. I don't want to. All right. Boy, a lot of you guys are East Coast. East Coast in the house! Except for Julie. She's just up the road and... Off to the side. And off to the, slightly to the east. You're what? 45 minutes, 45 minutes away, hour? I forget how long it takes to get up there. I haven't been up there like in forever. Like forever and ever. 
Okay. I was a little indecisive. I'm having a hard time making decisions tonight, guys. I don't know why. It's not like me. Actually, it's exactly like me. What am I kidding? There's just so many options with the truck. I didn't fuzz this, so we're going to pray to the chalk goddess that it does not lift up like copper because I didn't fuzz. So, hold our breath. <gasps> please don't pull out my copper, please. Even if it did, it's a little distressed, so I think we'd be okay. Yeah. Looks wonderful. Look at that. Okay, calm down. Just kidding. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay, gonna get them dry. Dry, 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 dry. So, I've used this transfer, but I'm still going to fuzz it to be on El Safo Sido of things. And this will go right in the center. And then what I'm going to use is... Sorry to lean into the picture. You're right. All right, I just gotta make sure it's straight. Yep. Awesome possum. All right, so this is where transfer tape comes into play. Yes, it does. So I'm gonna map off where I do not want my paste. So basically we're at an angle. And then, of course, we're not going to utilize any here. Grab my white. Nice job, Sean. Thanks. So Jane says she's looking forward to going home in Arizona. So where are you if you're not in Arizona? Are you up here somewhere up north? Arizona's hot. Yeah, it's hot during the summertime. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Which I would not mind. I am not a hot person. I like, in fact, yesterday in Spokane, it had a, we had a little bit of a Rainstorm. cold snap and it was reminded it me of nice. the, it's nice. Like fall, you know, nights and I love them, the crisp air and, oh, all righty. Sean, will you dry that real quick? I will dry one moment. So you're going from humid to dry. Where is she going to? <laughs> She's in Georgia right now, but she goes back. Her home is out of Arizona. Oh. Uh, it's dry, 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 dry. But Georgia, it's, we, we are going to be going to Georgia or for the first time, both of you and I. We are? Yeah, that's where her leadership is. It is? Savannah. Oh, it's Atlanta. Savannah. Savannah? Savannah, Georgia. Yep. Is that near Atlanta? I thought I remember I Atlanta. Know. Excuse no. me. Watch your legs. That's where the that's where they have our thing, but no. All right. Go ahead and we uh, let's put that on and this on. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm getting into my old bag of goodies here. This is our um, original kind of fall wintry one. And it came in a square like this, and it was just called vintage truck. And this is where all of the old pieces go. So I'll show you some of these older pieces, but there's the pick your own pumpkin I was looking for. I knew I had it. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so we're going to use that. So look at this. It has watermelons and a canoe. Surfs up. 
Um, and it came in a little square pouch. And this is actually a lot of the older ones all kind of thrown in here, like that were pieced together. So it had the old tree in there, gone fishing. How cute is that? Look at some of these pieces. I'm looking for, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Unless they have something else. Look at this. Home. Oh, I might use that too. Jane says you will love Savannah. Savannah. Every time I hear the word name Savannah, I think of Tom, uh, something Chrisley. That show, Chrisley Knows Best. Chrisley Knows Best. His daughter was Savannah. Savannah? And she was like kind of a... Oh, they all were. All the kids were. Little, yeah. Little brats and... Entitled. Entitled, yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot how many good things were in here. All right, Sean, you get the choose the year. Established 1942, since 1776, or since 1969? 69. I knew it. I knew it. Close, I knew it. Closer to my birthday. I was going to pick it because it made me think of that song. In the summer of 69. You know that song? Mm -hmm. Who sang it? I don't know. Brian Adams. Oh. Right? That's right, you're right. Paula Dean is from Georgia. That's right. I didn't know that. Yep. Listen to her accent. That's true. She's lost a lot of weight. Has she? I think so. I haven't seen her in a while. Do you know her? Well, on TV. I haven't seen her oh. on TV in a while. Well, I know you didn't know her, Sean, but you made it sound like you did. You're so funny. <laughs> you can go test why I cut. Sure. So we were just going to cut some of these older transfers. You can really tell they're old transfer because they were a lighter teal back then. Yes. And uh, no distress in the lettering or anything. So these are the ones that are kind of a little stressful because if you mess them up, no bueno. That'd be interesting. Uh, Jane says my daughter and I have been doing have done many trips to see old plantations and see all the history that's there. That would be kind of cool to see some old plantations. Those big giant homes. I don't think I'm going to use this because I already have a pumpkin hatch on there. So. Putting all these pieces back. Oop, oop, oop. Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got this, this, this. Border variety. All my extra little transfers go over there. Sean's using that angled squeegee. He really wants to get me to work it. You really want me to try it, don't you? Just try it. Can I try it on a non-live? So that way I don't... If I hate it, I can lie and be like, Ooh, I love it. I won't lie to you people. Okay. Grab my board. She has a YouTube channel and she does a recipe every day. How cool. Who does? Paula Dean. Oh. We're still talking about her? I'm assuming. She has a restaurant in Savannah, too. What are you looking for? My transfer tape. Uh, Here it is. Uh, right there. Oh, wait. You know what? I can use one of my tools I have. Instead of transfer tape, Sean. Aren't you excited? What about it? I bought this tool and I've never used it. Now I can. Which one? My T-squares and my angles. Okay, so... Oh, it's a little too short, but that's okay. It'll give me an idea of where I want to put this. Because I want the... Okay, so the middle would be right about there. So if we did these together, trying to figure out my spacing. Because spacing is everything. Norma says, go to the candy store on the riverfront in Savannah. Ooh. I'm assuming in Savannah. I love candy stores. Mm -hmm. Savannah has old money, so to speak. Lots of old homes and historical treasures to be that can be found. I just hope we can get there soon because yeah. we need to uh, get together. All right, Shawnee. Uh-oh. 
Does, oh, that's good. does 1996 need to go down? Down? Or uh, over a little, maybe? Or is maybe, that space? Maybe a little more spacing. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm maybe. on it, Sean. Anything to make you happy in life, I'm on. How much spacing do you want? I would say just another maybe quarter inch or so. How about that spacing? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Georgia says, no, we want to see your face reaction while using it. No, you're not going to want to. It's going to be bad. I never used the old angled one. I used it once, hated it, didn't understand it, didn't get... He forgot to change the camera, didn't he? I did. And then people said, Sean changed the camera, saw, didn't I they? Saw. Yep. Welcome to my life, people. He gets in his own little groove thing. Ian is from Goose Creek. Ooh, that's a fun name. Oh, that's right. Forrest Gump was down in that area, too. That looks nice. Wah, wah. Thank you, Shawnee. Mm -hmm. All right. What happened to my... Hmm. Ooh, Astoria. That's a fun name. Yeah, that's Astoria, Washington. Or Oregon. Washington, Oregon? That's where uh, Kindergarten Cop was filmed. It was. And so was it Goonies, wasn't the it? Goonies, yeah. All right, so we're going to do this one down here. Yeah, we, f we fl flew to Salt Lake and it was like weird. It's weird flying experience. Yeah. I mean, we, w we went to the Spokane Airport, obviously, to start and there was like maybe 10 people. That's all there yeah. was. And then first class really isn't, I hate to say it's not worth it, but it's really not worth it. Jane says, I worked with the crew for Kindergarten Cop. You did? How cool could that be? Did you get to meet Arnold? Arnold. I briefly saw Arnold's uh, stunt double uh, for um, what show um, for Terminator Two. Really? Yeah, they were when? they were filming right outside of uh, Long Beach um, shipyards, which is where our ship was at the time. And they were you owned a ship? I didn't. Then it was in the Navy. Oh, this is Navy days. Navy, Navy days, and uh, they were filming when the helicopter is chasing the truck and it flies underneath right in how do you know it was his stunt devil not him because you, you can do ask you can tell i mean i had to do a second a second look at first i thought it was him and going oh wait a minute stunt devil okay that makes sense my dog's name is chunk from the goonies i love it, I love it. that's awesome and five alive Ooh, Johnny Five Alive! Johnny Five it's Alive. I love Short Circuit. I love Short Ellie Circuit, too. Ellie Sheedy. She was in The Breakfast Club, right? Yes. That's the one, right? Hmm? I'm just having a convert, you know. No. I'm fine. I'm listening. Okay, will you drive by? I left? will. Drive time. Drive, drive time.
25's alive. All right. Natalia says, I met Arnold at Disneyland when I was a young girl. And he took my family out to lunch. Oh, that's so cool. So nice. That's really cool, actually. Did you work at Disneyland or you just were there and he like was like, that's yo, right. I like you. Let's do lunch. <laughs> Let's go do lunch. Okay. I had to think about what I wanted to do. Visual check. Yes. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. You're the best. Stacy says, my dad's third grade picture, I kid you not, he looked a lot like Chunk off the Goonies. How funny. I, when I was a kid, that's when Goonies would have been out. And I remember not watching it. Like, I don't know if I was scared of it because I only remember like the, but I do remember like the end part. I was like, did they just like build them a water park to do that stunt? Because they like go underground, don't they? Or like some cave or something. Mm -hmm. And they're like going down water slides, aren't they? Something like that, yeah. And Sean Austin was in it. Yep. And both the quarries were in it or just one quarry? Uh, just the one. That shimmer all is amazing. It is very pretty. Okay, a little, little silence here. Ah. What? So, Natalia says, we just ran into each other. Whoops, let me pop it up there. We ran into each other when we were at the park at the same time. Um, my uncle was with us, who was the sax player for the Doobie Brothers. So, he you recognized, for a sec, he recognized my uncle. Love that font. It is a pretty font, isn't it? This font? Yeah. These are the ones they don't really make anymore, which is mm. kind of sad. Um, because they, if you had one mistake, it was, it wasn't like disastrous, but you would be frustrated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna just use this, um, this portion of this transfer. So can you move this real quick, Shani? What am I moving this? Just hold it, like lift it up and hold it so I can do this mm -hmm. so they can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one part of the transfer. So instead of taping it and all that stuff, you just take a transfer sheet and cover the part you don't want, like so. And then you can utilize this part. And this way it doesn't pull up your other stuff. So we need to make sure it's Centered. What do you think? Is that centered? No? No. Okay. Let's find out. So center we already have established would be, because it's 17.25, so it'd be 8.66. So... What's your, what's your difference between this point to there and that point to there? Basically four and a quarter. Four and three quarters. Sorry, four and three quarters and... Five, so it needs to go that way about a quarter inch. Sean, you're the best. Good 
getting Sean to measure. One, two, three, getting Sean. Ooh, I should use my bright pad, but it wouldn't tell me where it would cover the other layer, wouldn't it? Oh, I guess I could. You could. I see what you're saying. Whoa. Okay, pokey. Mm. What? You still need to go that way just a little bit. How much is a little bit? Mm. Right there. You're sure? Going on a treasure hunt. X marks the spot. Four big boulders, one tiny dot. Up the ladder, down the ladder, up the ladder. You know that song? No, I do not. It was something you do on the back of someone. You go, going on treasure hunt. X marks the spot. Uh, big, four big boulders, one tiny. You don't remember that? Kind of. Okay, well, obviously we didn't have anything to do as kids because we were well, poor. I was. That was entertainment for us. You were not poor as a kid. Unless you got cheese in a white box in the fairgrounds, you were not poor. No. Did you have to go stand in line at the fairgrounds to get your government issued cheese? I don't think they had it back then. Yes, they did. Oh, I don't know about back then. When I was a kid, in they the did. 70s? Huh? In the 60s and 70s? No. I don't know. I wasn't born yet. That was like prehistoric times to me. Stop it. Do you guys want to know what I realized yesterday and it kind of made me sad? What did I realize, Sean? I am the same age as your mother when she passed. Mm-hmm. Isn't that sad? It is sad. So it means my mom died young, and you are doing very good for your age, Sean. Thank you. That this is one thing that I think a lot of transfers or a lot of designers. Can you hold this up real quick so I can dry this one? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of designers struggle with is mixing transfers. Um, so I often tell people like, literally, build it as you go. Start with your main component and then build it off that. A lot of designers I think are either a intimidated mixing transfers, or and that's the whole reason we have chalk stories, because the chalk stories idea is you can mix all of the stories together and know everything will match. But this is my happy zone. Like when I just have a TV, I watch some show down here and I lose track of time just chalking. Ugh, nothing better. You can put it back down, Shani. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Okay, so we need to finish this board and go eat Din Din. But I need... I should go put it in the oven right now while... Because it's going to take like an hour. It is? Yeah. An hour? Hour and ten. Up to oh an hour and ten. Gosh. Yeah. I'll go start it. At least get it hot. An hour and ten minutes, y'all. You know, it's going to die of starvation by that time. Okay. So, my distance is 0.75 and my distance here is right about that and that looks pretty good to me right hmm. you win some you lose some right one big you does anybody else remember that song or am i the only one that knows that song one big boulder four tiny dots up the ladder down the ladder up the ladder Swish through the trees, cool breeze. That's what we did when we were kids, because we were poor. I remember doing that with all my friends. We thought we were so cool. And then it would like give you sometimes a shiver up your timber, which everyone else also makes fun of me for saying, but I remember saying shiver up my timber. Even though Jasmine says that only pirates say that, but I remember saying shiver me timber. Or maybe it's SpongeBob that said that. I don't know. Maybe I'm making up a whole history I don't even know anything about. All right, so let me go wash this and then I'll be right back. Sorry, little girl. 
You guys, I'm so excited for fall! I love fall time. I don't know about you guys, but I love fall time. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going to dry this, and then um, there is one little area I need to fix because... Uh, I made it oopsie doodly, but this will show you why the detail tool is so important. Up the ladder, down the ladder, up the ladder, please. Ooh, yeah, it's a bitsy spider. That's a good one, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to um, zoom in on the spot because I can show you. Ooh, I don't have canned air there, do I? That's what we were supposed to get at oh. Costco was canned air. That's right. Do we not have any? Let me see if there's anything left out here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. So right there you can see on the S of Hayrides. So this is where I love the pick tool. Because I can now go in and flake it away. My hands are a little wet, so it just suck. I don't want to... Can you guys still see that? Usually Sean, Joe, and not me. And see how I can now, if I can air, I'd be able to easily flick it away. And then you can take a Q-tip with ammonia-free Windex. Move it over here. Oh, I need to zoom out. Sorry. Doing two jobs here, peeps. Zoomy, zoomy. I'm going to put it in my... Here. There we go. Can you see that? Sorry, man. It's okay. I managed. Did you? Mm -hmm. It's what you do, Sean. When you're a kid and you're poor, you manage. You don't know what... It feels like you don't know how it feels to be poor like me all right yeah fix this one too now the detail tool is much better on our in my opinion on our couture surfaces boutique surfaces than it is on our Aiden's it works on the Aiden's Aiden's excuse me geez but the Aiden's you will definitely get that what I refer to as the halo effect a lot more because of it's a kind of a flat surface. So once it's dry, you can kind of go in and out and, um, except for I just had some green on here. So that's no bueno. There we go. All right, so I need to zoom out. We're almost done. I just need to add my last resistance. You don't know how it feels. No, you don't know how it feels. Do you remember that song, Sean? Watch your knees, Shawnee. Um, you don't know how it feels to be. Alrighty then. <gasps> My phone just went ringy ringy dingy dingy. Ding a ding 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 ding. All right. So this is our fall leaf pattern, and I love. What are you doing? Where are you going? Looking for what? Party for one, Sean. Party for one. Did you used to go to restaurants by yourself when you were single? Uh, sometimes, but not nothing. Oh, sorry. Not like a fancy one. That's sad. I would have went to the restaurants with you, but at that time, I was probably 12. What is happening? Oh, you're showing people yeah. something. Okay. All right, so we are going to buzz these because this is brand spanking, uh-oh, new. Uh-oh. We're good. We're good, Sean. Orange peel back in stock? Orange peel is not back in stock. It's so sad. I know, right? It should be very soon. soon. Next week um, is a, I think, a big release for us for a whole bunch of stuff coming back into stock. 
-hmm. And um, a lot of stuff that people had things back ordered are not technically back ordered. Long story short, they were moving stuff from a warehouse and then they decided to not do that because there's something to do with trucking and things are taking long in trucks now because of, I don't know, there was a lot happening in the call and I didn't pay attention that well, obviously. So now Sean's gonna have to listen to the call. <laughs> this is what happens when you have ADD. All right, where'd my board go? Oh, here it is. Are you ready, Sean? Yes. Okay, let's finish this up. We're just adding a little bit of a border down here to kind of finish off the board. And once again, I am going to protect what I got going on up here by laying down a little bit of my oh. So you can use the big one. You, sir, are brilliant. What's that from? Do you know? Um. Sponge Bob Squarepants. You you are correct, sir. Oh yeah, it was me. It was. It's that old guy that was a superhero. Guy. Yeah. That was voiced by someone and then he died. Merman. Uh, Mer Merman, Merman, and Merman and, and ba Barnacle Boy. Barnacle Boy. Merman was Shoot, done by yeah, Merman was done by uh, Ernest Borgnine. I don't know who that is. Uh, and then uh, Barnacle Boy was done by Tim Conway. Did he die? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's, he's he's finally passed. That's so sad. I know. They he was very sad. They were um, Carol Burnett, right? Yes, they were. I well, tried, Ernest Borgnine, he was just an actor. In, I in tried Netflix. watching Carol Burnett and I couldn't get into it. I know, Pace, it's sad. Pace restock is August 10 through the 14th. Thank you, Kim. You, my dear, are a rock star. Rock star. You just moved that. Did you want it over that? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I didn't want it over that. I want to be able to see that. Oh, I see. Uh. Braxton, my son, is obsessed with Spongebob. Spongebob, Squarepants, Spongebob. So when I first met Sean, um, our schedules were kind of different from each other, but he worked nights, and so I got a job working nights. And, worked, and went to school. And he went to school, but uh, when we get home to eat something, this was before DVRs and stuff like that, we it was always, um, okay, what do we watch, you know? And so we watched... Nickelodeon always had at late at night, which is random, mm -hmm. like SpongeBob and the Fairly Odd Parents. Mm -hmm. And what happened to my tape? And what else did they have? Fairly Odd Parents, SpongeBob that we would watch. There was one um, other one I'm forgetting. Seriously, do you have my tape? No. Hmm. Do well I, then. Well then. Peeps. I don't know where it went. Um, but that's when Sean also got me really into uh, Family Guy. Remember that? Mm -hmm. We would come home and make dinner or pick it up. When we lived in Seattle, we were really bad about eating out. It was oh, really bad. bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so I'm using our placement tape. What the frick? Look at that. What did I do? How did that happen? Um, Vivian? Vivian A. Fox. Oh, okay. I'm 14 years older. Mm -hmm. He could be my dad. No. Yes, you could, technically. You could, technically. You could. Physically, yeah, but I'm not. Uh, not Tim Conway was part of Laughing. So Tim Conway... Was he really? I don't remember um, him being Laughing. I watched a thing on him about how he, like, would try to get purposely, like, get, like, Vivian and, uh, or not Vivian, um, Vicky, uh, Vicky Lawrence, Lawrence and Kara Burnett to laugh. Like he would try to get them off their, off their game. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. so some of those outtakes are pretty funny. Oh, my God. All right. So we're going to utilize all the colors that we utilized up here. So we need, um, we're going to use the fig, the copper and this color, which is, I always keep calling it shimmer harvest, but it's shimmer olive. So, um, we got our fig. We got our copper. We're going to add a little bit of white. And then where's my shimmer olive? Here it is. And all we're doing is hot mesh. You could technically go through and do each leaf a different color, but I don't want to do that. So I'm not. Yeah. Because it's yeah. my shirt and not yours. Not yours. There. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Nobody probably knows what we're talking about. Family Guy is the best. It is really I didn't like it at first. It's really and no one, a lot of people didn't like it because it got canceled. I know. And then it came back. And then yeah. it got canceled. And then it came back. It was kind of weird. I love it. It's great. And now it's been back forever. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with my fig. Mikhail's Navy. Yep. That is right. What's that? Mikhail's Navy. That was the show that Ernest Borgnine was known for. It was one of the shows he was, it was a long time ago. It was black and white. I think part of it was black and white, and then it maybe went to color. I don't really remember. Maybe you don't matter. I don't remember that's much. You're black and white. Did you like living in Seattle, asks Fatima. Um, that's a hard it, question. It had its moments. Traffic so, sucked. <laughs> so, for me, um, I, shockingly, was a mama's boy, and it took me away from my family. So I didn't like that. Um, I also didn't love the area of Seattle we lived in. Nope. So if we had lived... Uh-oh. <clears throat> I hear crunching as in someone got decoration again. Sorry, Shawnee. Let's see what the animals have destroyed. The fun game. Nothing? Yes. Uh-oh. Puppies! Which one was it? Hades. 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 Is that a good boy? I was just saying to everyone how I wanted to reproduce you because you're reminding me so much of Baby Han. And now look what you've done. That's a bad boy. I still love you though. Come here. Come here. Do you feel bad now? Yelling at your Hades? Or no? Well, he needs to be disciplined. Sean, we don't discipline our dogs. When have we ever disciplined our we dogs? Discipline dogs? What? Now what are they getting into? What? She's getting something. What do you have? Mm -hmm. Oh, your gold. These dogs, what I is? swear. I swear. Do you remember that song? By the moon and the stars above. Oh, that's right, m'lady. I'll be there. Tim Conway was also in McHale's Navy. I swear. Do you remember that song? Mm hmm I don't know if you do. But I don't remember him being in... In, um... Laughing. Ta-da. Can you grab the bottom... Cause it's all about the bass, about the bass. No trouble. Thank you, Shawnee. Welcome. We dry that and we're done. In the drawer to get the new tool. It's not in the drawer. All the new stuff's in here. What? Huh? Will you dry it? Yes, I'm going to. Oh, uh, thanks, Shawnee. Yeah, uh, gonna mute. You are correct. Artie Johnson was on laugh and he played the German soldier in, in the little cigarettes. You'd say something and that's stupid. Very interesting, but stupid. Okay, here is this. Ooh. So this is what designers were freaking out about on our live. So I'll show it to you real quick since I have you. So I dipped in my white. You can see it right here. So people are like, oh my gosh, why would you contaminate it? Just take your stir stick and literally just skim the top. There it is. And just like that, crisis averted. And just even a little bit in there, with the exception of red, 
Red is the only color I freak, freak, freak out. Yeah, because a little bit will but really damage But other it. than that, we're good. Uh, Miss Doctor uh, Miss Doctor Early says I've been waiting. I've been waiting, and it, and it made me want to go get out my paints. I just created four coasters and a five by seven frame. Should I wash the transfer right away, or can they sit in water for a short time? Right away. Right away. Especially when the newer design ones. We don't ones. say newer design ones. Reformulated. The more friendly environmental ones, and they're not like new. They're not rolling them out, so it's not going to be like. Yay, here's the new designed ones. They'll it's just, just roll out. Ugh. No one should see the difference. No. Nope. The biggest difference, though, is not to soak them. All right, let's Do not ever zoom ever. out and see how this baby looks. And then we will clean up, get all of these pastures on. Oh, can you zoom out? Oh, yeah. I've asked you now twice, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bring that up again, even though... You don't listen. I mean, I love you, but you do not listen. All right. I love it. It turned out great. I love this down here. So this, I needed something to fill in down here. Um, the one change I would have made if I was to redo this again is I would have adjusted this down and put it in the center and had this as a border on top and bottom. That would be my only change. Um, I think this would look better kind of floating inside of the greenery, but that's okay. We, it serves its purpose of filling yes, the bottom does. of the board. So let's show you up top. And I have to say, I am happily, I'm very happy with this color combo. I didn't yeah. think I would like it, but it did turn out really nice. It did. And it complements all the colors over there well mm -hmm. still. Yep. So you could do the honor. Let me, I want to zoom in on it though while you're doing this. So give me a sec. Don't put it up yet. I gotta, wait, how do I move the camera? Cameras by the the, the right arrows. Right. Yeah. So up down. Oh, wait a minute. You're on this camera. So hit number one up there. Now you can change the, that camera. Oh, fancy pants. Wait. Oh. This is. Uh. Oh. Now I see why you move it so fast. It's very touchy. It's touchy. Touchy, touchy. Right. Whoa. No, we went too much. <laughs> okay. And go, Sean. <laughs> Zoom in. What? Let me zoom in. Um. And tilt down. Well, not that far. Okay. Wait. What? Now tilt down. Tilt what down? Oh, Camera. like that. Oh. That's what the it T is. So touchy. That's You're what right. the T stands for. Tilt. There is no T. Oh. Pan, the, tilt, zoom. Oh, I got you. Pan tilt zoom. Hi. Pan is left, right, girl. tilt up, down, and zoom in. Hello. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Do you want to say hi to everyone? Oh, CC. Oh, oh, here comes Jealous. Hi, you want to say hi to everyone? Hi, Sierra. Come here, Hades. Mr. the Hades. These two literally, oh, he's such a goober, just like his dad. These two literally have us going all day long. Well, actually, they're good because they play with each other, but they like to bring in pine cones and leaves, and he is such a sweet boy. Look at him. Do you look like your daddy? Do you look like your daddy? Do you look like Baby Han? I love you. you. Do. He looks so much like Baby Han that I told Jazzy he can't get fixed. Can he? Huh? Get fixed. No, he's not. Because we want to have a puppy with him because he looks no. He looks so much like his dad. No. And they're no. turning into this beautiful red. She is just a little stink pot. She is. Yeah, she, is. she doesn't listen. Oh, look at this. This is oh. This is what reminds me of his daddy. He's such a sweet boy. Dr. Early, yes, red is a little, little on the watery side. We it don't, always we don't, is. We don't know why, don't know it why. just is. I don't know if it has something to do with the the pigments they use. Come here, baby girl. Yeah. Oh. You leave it out a little bit, leave the top off about an hour or so. They, were just, they fit into the palm of our hands. Yeah, they did. All right, guys, sorry for the long live. Um, Two hours and 24 minutes. Yeah, um, I knew it was going to be longer using the vintage truck, uh, but I also knew... I didn't know what I wanted to do with the vintage truck. So if I know where the direction I'm going, mm -hmm. but the big thing I wanted to do on the back wall is obviously um, get this. the holidays, but I also wanted the colors to all match. So when Jasmine did it, come out here, Sean, so they can mm -hmm. actually see it. Um, can I get your thing so we can tilt up and zoom in a little bit? Um, so when Jazzy did it, it was very much blacks and whites, very basic. 
So I wanted it to be a little bit more on, especially the glimmer, the shimmer glimmers, because they are gorgeous. So let me zoom in here. So I really wanted to focus on that, that shimmer. So you can see where the color scheme, if we go in here, this color scheme starts in the middle with the orange, the purple, and the white, and kind of just goes out. And I really wanted it all to match, but stay within their seasons, meaning like you could still say this side's Halloween and that side is, is fall. So I love it. I love it. Yeah, I think it turned out great. I had a blast doing this with you. I can't wait to do it for the next holiday. We'll probably change it at the end of Halloween and we'll do Thanksgiving, remove all that stuff and or sell it. So I have already had a few of you guys reach out. Can you zoom in a little bit more, mm -hmm. Shani? Um, I've had a few of you reach out saying, hey, I think I might want one of your signs on the back while you auction it. And then I've been telling you guys all know my, the whole point is that we wash it off and put it back up. Mm -hmm. But if people want me to recreate it or if they want to auction it and I'll just buy a new board, that's fine. Um, just know that these boards are a little on the spendy side and stuff. They so. are a little bit. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you go so we can uh, get dinner in our yeah, bellies. Um, this kind of felt like the old lives mm -hmm. that we used to do. We used to, um, when I worked at the bank, I wouldn't get home till 6-ish. And so we wouldn't go live till 7, 7.30. And our lives would yep. be over with a, almost 10, which it is now. Yeah. And it reminds me of that. So we haven't done a, a long live like this in a while. So it was no. kind of fun. And yeah. you guys get to see the creative process. And I always have fun on these lives. So... Um, I love the way the backboard finished next week. We're going to start just doing normal projects, just playing with different mm -hmm. things. Um, yeah. Yes. So, uh, thank you for thank joining. You. Thank you so much for all of the amazing support. You guys are awesome. Um, and thank you for sending your people this way. So I know a lot of you guys are sending friends and family. I know a lot of, uh, people that are, uh, consultants with other companies are reaching out to us for the opportunity because mm -hmm. they've heard great things. So, um, keep sending them our way and we will see you probably on Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday. Now that I think about it, Tuesday, Monday is gnome ship day. <laughs> so bye everyone.